While Diane feasts on the yummy cake we gave her, looks like game publishing giant Electronic Arts is popping the champagne bottles. First up, EA's Battlefield Bad Company 2 has become the best-selling March release in North America and Europe. Not counting the Asian market, there are now more than 2.3 million players enlisted to wage the digital war. The first-person shooter caused EA server to collapse under the weight of demand during the first week, but EA has already made major moves in order to handle the online load. So how heavy was the load? Here are some available stats during the game's first few weeks of release. 81 billion points earned in multiplayer sessions. 43 million weapons and gadgets unlocked. Over 6 million video views on YouTube. 2.9 million hours spent playing online in the last 24 hours alone. 230,000 peak concurrent users. According to executive producer Carl Magnus Troetsen, the team had a tremendous rush in the first 48 hours of the game that they had to fix the server in order to accommodate the demand. Troetsen thanks the players for their massive response to the game and appreciation for the gameplay that Battlefield Bad Company 2 provides. Indeed, Battlefield Bad Company 2 gives Activision's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 a run for the money. But come to think of the fact, Battlefield's already impressive March sales don't come close to Modern Warfare 2's record-setting 4.2 million November numbers. Oh man, what are we gonna do now? Sarge? You ain't saying much. No, oh, I think you gotta ask Marlo here. Thanks to him, I'm officially retired. Yeah, hell of a job, Marlo. Me? Ah, shucks, sweets. What about you? Oh, I don't know. It was cool, but, you know, this special ops shit, not my style. Well, now we need to party, and I know an establishment you're gonna love. It's not only the guys over at EA that are sipping on some sweet and tangy champagne. The guys over at Black Box Vancouver are also toasting to the upcoming release of Need for Speed World. An MMO racing game? Sounds strange, right? Will we be getting talking car avatars like the cars in Pixar's hit movie? Air one. Time will tell. Need for Speed World is now on beta testing. Simply put, Need for Speed World is your Need for Speed console or PC game put online. The gameplay will remain relatively the same. As an MMO, expect that there will be quests and missions to do in order to unlock items that you can use or gain in-game cash. But since it's an MMO and a racing game, for sure much of the gameplay will focus on player versus player action. John Doyle, the game's senior producer, said the Need for Speed world will introduce an all-new power-up system and deep RPG-style progression to create a massive socially connected Need for Speed experience. The players who are participating in the beta testing are enjoined to submit a constructive feedback in order to help fine-tune the game. Gamers interested to take part in the beta testing need to go to the game's official website and click the Apply for Beta button. Need for Speed World is expecting to hit the shelves this coming second quarter.